Here we are. Welcome to Genting Highlands. We did it. We made it. We are here. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. But before Tesla can go to the moon, today I'm going to bring a 2021 Tesla Model Y Long Range up Genting Highlands. This is 45 minutes drive up to 40 kilometers up a mountain. So in this journey, we'll see Thomas State of Charge users going up the hill. We are now at 80% State of Charge starting this trip. We head up the hill, take a short break. And then let's find out whether we can actually gain zero charge coming down a mountain. Click subscribe to stay updated to more videos on Tesla. It's a really hot day, so let's head inside. We're inside the Model Y and you can see that we're right under 80% state of charge. Clicking it again reveals that we were 404 kilometers of range. Over here, this is our range. I've just created a new trip for us, so we are Tesla to the moon, everything is reset. Now we cannot use the energy app this time here because this is a parallel import car without navigation support. So I'm using what most Malaysians use to navigate, which is Waze in our phone. So let's begin this trip and see how much range we have reaching the top of Genting Highlands. So we're actually just passing by a Starbucks drive through Got a nice vanilla sweet cream cold brew before heading off. Because this is a super hot day. The temperature right now is 37 degrees Celsius. And this is our last stop before heading up to Genting Highlands. You can see a sign that says Genting Highlands. We are about to pass a toll. Thankfully, our car has the RFID. So we're just going to go to the RFID lane. By the way, this is my first time driving up the Genting Highlands. New adventure. With good practice before our California road trip next month. I know a lot of Singapore Tesla owners were also wondering how can we get the RFID? It's a live demonstration. Okay, that's it for Pass at all. And once we see well up lanes again, we can turn on autopilot. Double tap the right stock and we see the two blue lines. We are on autopilot. And autopilot is recommended for freeways. I wouldn't use it for city streets unless you're paying full attention or again you're in North America where autopilot works even better. And you can turn the right scroll wheel just to adjust the, the max speed. You can see we're making some turns right now. And autopilot handles the curves really well. So it actually knocks your car on like a train dead in the center of the lane. But it's very important that the roads are well marked. You can see going left, going right, does it really well. Now we are going to pass by a heavy vehicle on our left. So with autopilot that we have in Malaysia and most of the world, it's just going to keep dead center in the lane. But if you are driving full self-driving beta in US or Canada, if you pass a heavy vehicle like this, you will actually keep your car towards the right to give more gap, more space between the heavy beam. So there it goes, it's pretty smooth, it even detects the motorbike on our left, coming from our left flank. So for those of you who are driving in Malaysia, whether you are Malaysian, Singapore or Thai Tesla owner, let me know how's your experience with autopilot in this country see it. all the urban jungle is gone it's now replaced by the natural jungle as we head up the Genting Highlands so you can see the cyclist in front of us and it's detecting it and it's slowing down so while I have my foot on the accelerator I don't actually have to press it the car will adjust the speed based on what's available the path is clear it's making a turn all by itself it's managing the speed all by itself as well. I'm here to supervise and make sure that I take control if I need to. We just left the highway. You can see Genting Highlands on the left, the big sign there. All cyclists taking some weefies. So right now you can see it's a steeper incline. This bar here shows the battery usage. So the longer the black bar, the more energy we're using climbing up this hill. Now, the reverse will happen when we're going downhill. 
the black bar will actually go to the left and you actually see green, which means we're gaining energy. So over here on our left is the premium outlet mall in Gantik. And this is the only location where you'll find EV chargers. So we've got nine stalls of seven kilowatt AC slow charging. Now these AC chargers are free. All you need to do is just pay for the parking. But you've got to bring your own cable. So if you go there without a cable, you cannot charge your EV. So for most EV owners in Malaysia, we do have a set of cables as a backup. And for Tesla owners, we got a mobile connector, just in case we need to juice up. But for us right now, we're still at 63% safe charge. So 320 km, we can make it all the way up and down because we should have some energy gains from regen on our way down. So apart from that, there are no other EV chargers in Genting Highlands. So with Tesla opening in Malaysia, do you think Tesla should set up a supercharger station all the way up in Genting Highlands or maybe even a premium outlet? Let us know what you think. You can see up there, you can see the clouds. Temperature has dropped by 10 degrees Celsius. We're now at 27 degrees Celsius. Look, we are just above the clouds. We are almost the same height as clouds in the sky right now. You could say that we are on a cloud nine. So Tesla may not be on the moon yet, but we've reached the clouds. Cable cars right in front of us. Childhood memories of taking these cable cars. You can see the sign in front. The roads are going to zigzag quite a bit. So I would not recommend using autopilot in these kind of street conditions. That's because you want to stay safe, keep the human in control. Here we are. Welcome to Genting Highlands. We did it. We made it. We are here. We started our trip at 80% state of charge, 79% to be exact. We're 4, 4 km. We're now at 285 km, 56% state of charge. So that's Sky World Hotel. Okay, we're going to make a turn into Resort Hotel and park in there. So we'll see you inside. We're here in Ganteng. We found a parking spot. So let's do a review of our trip. It took 45 minutes. We drove up 40 kilometers. Our state of charge is now at 55%. Remaining range, 280 kilometers. And if we go to our trip stats, you can see that exactly 40 kilometers driven. And we took about 17 kilowatt hours. And this is the energy consumption. Obviously using a lot more because we were going uphill a lot of steep inclines. Okay, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to have a quick lunch. It's 1.30 p.m. here on a Friday. Enjoy a bit of the scenery. Hopefully we don't get too cold. No jackets. Welcome to Genting Highlands. Behind me is First World Hotel. They claim it's the world's largest hotel, but most number of rooms up here. Very colorful. And down here, it's very foggy right now. But on a clear day, you can see the big Genting logo, especially from Kuala Lumpur. You look up, you see in light, red and light, you'll see the Genting logo. And down here, we've got the outdoor theme park, which I've never been before. You can see there's a plane right here. The cable cars are right above. That's Sky Avenue. Had a tour inside, that's where the casino and indoor theme park is. So if it's raining or too cold, you can go to the indoor theme park. If you like the weather, a good day like today, the outdoor theme park's for you. Sticking some fresh air. Go and get some lunch, and then we continue the trip downwards. Had a nice lunch in Five Guys Burger, my first time trying it. Delicious cheese burger. So I'm refueled, but our car, unfortunately, is not because there are no EV chargers up here at the top of Genting Highlands yet. So we're at 52% state of charge. Gives us about 270 kilometers of range. If you look at our trip stats, you can see that 270km, and this was our trip going upwards energy consumption was crazy high. And if you look at the energy tab, you can see that this consumption is off the charts. 
if we continue going uphill, we actually, instead of having 270 km, we will only have 109 kilometers. So now, we're going on a new trip, we'll program a new trip. So, I reset a new one to the moon and back. So it's all zero, zero, zero. As we come downhill, we will find out whether at the end of this trip, we can increase our state of charge from 52% to a higher number. Okay, let's take off and begin our trip. Heading out with our touch and go car. Six dollars for parking. Not too bad. So goodbye, Gansing Highlands. You can see it's a foggy day. It was raining earlier as well. I'm so happy that my first trip back to Genting in more than a decade is on a Tesla Model Y. If you told me this five years ago that I'll be doing this, I would have told you no way. No way. Genting was fun. It was just a short two hour trip there. I think we really need some EV chargers in here just to encourage more EV owners to come up. Because not all EVs have Tesla's range. So you can see as I'm going downhill that when I let go of the accelerator, the car comes to a stop. I don't even need to press the brake. And green means we're now gaining energy coming downhill. Gaining quite a fair bit of energy coming downhill. Okay, we started the trip at 52% state of charge. I'm curious to see where we land up. If you're watching the video right now, you can make a guess. You think we'll gain 1%, 2%, 3%? Let us know down in the comments and we'll reveal the answer at the end. This whole trip, it's been single pedal driving. So my foot has only been on the accelerator. I don't think I've used the brake at all from the bottom coming up and now going down. So you see as we're going down, look at the regen amount. It is pretty insane. I've never seen so much regen. Okay, all the way down, no brakes applied at all. I'm just feathering the accelerator, lifting the accelerator up when I need to slow down. It's so simple. For me, the Model Y may be a big car, so in parking spaces it's a pain. But coming down or driving up and down hills, the higher seating, the higher visibility actually makes the Model Y so easy to drive up and down getting highlands. We started this trip at 52%, if I recall correctly. We've just gained 1% state of charge. We've driven about 5 minutes. So I think I may be underestimating our state of gain. So you see the rain's getting much heavier, auto wipers are moving faster. And I want to talk about our trip so far. If you look at the stats down here, we're not losing energy. It's like minus 168, that means we're gaining energy. 168 watt hours per kilometer. It's pretty insane. There are some parts that we're going uphill where we're spending energy, but most of this trip we're going downhill. So so far. We already went from 52 to 55% state of charge, a so 3% gain. We've come down quite a fair bit from Genting Highlands. The decline is less steep right now, and we've got wider, well marked roads. So let's try under the rain, would autopilot work? Here we go. You see the two blue lines, autopilot is active. We are on the left lane, so keeping some distance away from other cars. There are still some twists and turns. Let's see how well autopilot does. You can see for the human, the visibility isn't perfect, even when the wipers are on. So, a lot of people have questions can the cameras on the Tesla actually see as well, if not better than the human eye? And look at how autopilot is navigating this turn. I'm not turning the steering wheel, I'm here on standby. Autopilot is managing the accelerator, my foot's also on standby. And puddles of water in this highway. It's slowing down as a car in front slows down, keeping a good safe distance. I'm feeling quite comfortable right now. So let's 
think overall, autopilot pretty decent, even in rain, going downhill, not in the best weather conditions. So give autopilot a try, let's stay alert. We have big vehicles around us as well. Autopilot's trying to be cautious and slow. I'm going to disengage to take over this large vehicle because we don't have full self-driving on Hans autopilot yet. And hopefully enjoy this good shot demo. So to disengage the autopilot, you just tap into the brake or you can just move your steering wheel a lot and it will disengage. When you're ready to re-engage, double tap the right stop and we're good to go again. Just enjoy as autopilot navigates another turn. You can see lots of water, lots of cars around us. And you can see what the car is seeing through the screen over here. That's the beauty of Tesla technology. And what you see in autopilot today is the worst possible version of autopilot because they keep on improving it. It can only get better from here. So as Tesla officially launches in Malaysia, if we just tailor the software more for our country, we get more Teslas on the roads to train the vision learning. This will improve much more quickly next year. There are around almost 400 Teslas in Malaysia right now. After the official launch, I think by end next year, I predict, I estimate, we could have almost maybe 5,000 Teslas end of 2024. Let me know what you think. So the past five minutes, everything has been on autopilot drive, except for the manual lane change. That starts on the moon, so you become Kaya, like that. So we'll continue driving, and we'll see you again once we reach our destination point just to do a stop and do a debrief on our journey so far. That's where we started our journey, at the Starbucks just before the Gombak Toll. And right now, we started our journey at 52% state of charge. We are at 57% state of charge. Yeah. 291 kilometers. So you look at the energy chart, we've actually gained so much. Of course, there were moments where we went uphill, but overall we gained basically about 5% state of charge, coming down Genting Highlands. That is pretty cool. So we look at our trip. You can see over here, it's about 40 kilometers, 39, so not too far off. We gain three kilowatt hours coming down. Of course, we spend a lot more going up. So you're not gonna gain energy going up and down Genting, you will gain energy coming down for sure. You can see these are our final trip stats here. So hopefully this has been very helpful for you as you plan your own trip up and down Genting Highlands or any other mountains that may exist wherever you're watching this from. If you have any questions about our Genting Highlands road trip, please let us know down in the comments. I want to thank my friends for allowing me to just try out the Model Y long range going up and down. And if you found this video useful, please click the like button. Hit subscribe to stay updated to more videos on Tesla. I will have a road trip to California next month.